Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can generate hashes in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all let's define what is a password hash. So actually a password hash is used in order to store your password in a very secure way. So the password is stored in format different than the plain text so if someone actually get the files or tables that contain your password he will just see some hashes or some encrypted password so he cannot know which the password so here I will be using a command called OpenSSL in order to generate this encrypted password or hashes so let's see that in practice so first command that we can gonna use is open SSL with password okay and here we have to provide our password so let's say for example that we want to hash a password called for example my pass okay my pass wt for example here we go you can see the generated hash for this password called my pass wt okay so here is the default way to generate hashes using the crypt algorithm but here there is a limitation the limitation is that the password cannot exceed eight characters let me show you that so for example let's say that we want to hash the password the whole password this time my password it has actually 10 characters so let's try to hash it oh you see the warning there truncating password to 8 characters so whatever password you provide actually it will be truncating to just eight characters so OpenSSL password will be able to hash it okay so keep that in mind the limitation here is eight character password okay so one thing that you can add or use with the OpenSSL password command is actually to use what we call salt okay salt actually is just a random string that you add to your password in order to make life difficult for hackers to guess your password so as you can see or as you know actually hackers have what we call actually rainbow tables this rainbow tables contains the most uh, well-known password with its hash so they make a comparison between this rainbow tables or hashes with the hash that you generate so if they found the match they get the password so in order to make that work very difficult they will add what we call a hash here so the hash is simple string that we add to our password in order to generate a more secure password so let's say that we want to add salt called just uh, for example one two okay so i will keep my password here here we go we can generate another hash as you can see here the first two characters here is one two are actually the salt so let's verify that let me see for example i want to change that to sw here we go so always the two characters here are our salt but what we happened if we add a longer salt for example one two three four aha uh -huh. so let's add another thing here sdfe for example as our salt aha uh -huh. So as you can see here, the salt actually is limited to do two characters. So whatever salt you provide here, it will only take the two first characters of that salt. 
So here there is another limitation for the salt using OpenSSL passwords is that the salt is limited to two characters, okay? So in order to break these limitations, actually, we can use another algorithm. So instead of using the default one, which is crept, we can use MD5, for example. So I will use our example here. So I will add option minus one. So minus one tells OpenSSL password that we are using here the MT5 actually algorithm. So here we go. So the dollar one that you see in the beginning means that actually we are using the MD5 algorithm. So I told you that we'll be using MD5 in order to break the limitation of the password to eight characters. So let's see that. So let's make this password actually longer with 10 characters. So remember, without option minus one, I mean using the crypt algorithm, default algorithm, we are limited to eight character passwords. Here we are using MD5, and this time the, our password is actually 10 character long. Oh, you see that now we break the limitation of the passwords. With the 10 character password, we can get our hash. Okay. So that's pretty nice. Let's actually add uh, my password for today. So you see that I have no warning, no truncating. I can actually have a hash with any longer password. So we break the fourth limitation. But what happened to the second limitation of the salt? Remember, our salt previously was limited to just two characters. Will it be the same here? So let's test it. So I will add option salt, so minus salt. So let's first test it with our two character. Here we go. It's working. So you see the dollar one means MD5. And after the second dollar, we have one two, which means our salt. So with two character salt, it works. So let's try four character salts. So I will add just three and four. Well, it seems working, so I get no problem. So I break actually the limitation of two characters salt alone. So let's make it even bigger with this time six characters. So I'll add five and six. So everything's working well. Let's add seven and eight. So now we have eight character salt string. It's working like a charm, so no problem. So let's add a nine character here. Or so now we have 10 characters salt string. Aha. Uh -huh. So as you can see now I have a null. So it means our actually command is not working. So let's try to make it just a nine character long. Same thing. So with a salt bigger than eight characters, we don't have any result. So remember, with our first method, we are limited to eight character password length and two character salt. But with this method, the actually the length of our password is not limited, so we can go beyond eight characters, but the limitation here comes from the salt. So the salt cannot exceed eight characters. So keep that in mind, okay? So just uh, to finish, I will show you a very famous file in your system, in your Linux, which actually stored this kind of uh, encrypted or hashes passwords. Actually, the famous one is the etc shadow password, okay? So let's see this shadow password here. It's located in etc directory and shadow is the name of our password shadow okay 
but in order to view that file you have to be a root so I will add sudo command here we go okay so now you can see for example here we have user amino as you can see at this line and this is our hash so remember dollar six means that we are using this time not actually the md5 but rather sha 512 algorithm okay and all that hash between the two dollars here is actually our salt string that was actually randomly generated okay because salt you can provide the salt or you can let the system generate random salt for you so when you whenever you log on to your system so the Linux what it does actually is actually it grab this salt from your shadow files and it hashes the password you provide in your login screen and it generate actually the hash so the generated hash is compared with that hash in the shadow file so if there is a match it will allows you to log in and if there is no match you will deny access to your system okay so that was just a brief introduction to password hashing and salt algorithm using Linux. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.